From our childhood days, we authenticate into a website with the username and password. So on the process, what happens is we declare our identity to the server and tell that we are so and so. Based on the authentication, the website issues as a certain permission with which we browse the website, isn't it? So what happens in today's modern environment is that a single layer of username and password is not sufficient. For an example, if I give you my username and password, you will be able to log in into my account by telling to the system that you are Vinod, right? So what we are going to do is we added another layer or the second layer of authentication called the two-factor authentication. What is two-factor authentication? So one layer of authentication is username and password, which means something I know. Right? I know a username and password. I can share that. Now you also know. But the second layer of authentication is something that you are and something that you have. There are two options. What is something that you have? For example, in something that you have, there are security keys or smart keys with which or token systems or uh, smart cards with which you can actually have a device with which you can authenticate yourself saying that you are Vinod to the system and it lets you in. This is another added layer of security called the second layer of authentication, right? But again, even the second layer of authentication is not enough today. That is why we all are moving towards multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication simply means you just have to follow at least two or more of these controls to make sure your security posture is enhanced. For example, one, something that you know, which is username, password, something that you have, which is tokens, passwords, smart keys, etc. Something that you are, which means fingerprints, biometrics, iris scanning, facial recognition, and so on, which means that cannot be impersonated, right? So these are the differences to be implemented in place today for a MFA in place, multi-factor authentication in place. More uh, very interesting videos, there are more very interesting technologies that we will discuss, which are passwordless technologies in our later videos. So for more tips and tricks, do consider subscribing and follow me.